And typically, a youth center like the Milford Youth Center is going to have a variety of ways people can be helpful. I know whether it's you know donating funds or helping you know as a volunteer at a specific event or helping as an ongoing tutor or mentor to kids. There are a lot of choices and ways to get involved. So if one one thing that's going on uh, might not sound like your cup of tea, you know, there I'm sure there are other ways you could help the important work of the youth center. It's amazing how they do it, um, and it's amazing how much people support the youth center, even with the, the lack of funding. So people from community um, donating time or donating money, or or uh, even you know, I, I remember she came over to Woodland. We got some furniture over to her when the old Woodland was being torn down. So I think people want to see the youth center be successful, and I think uh, that's. A, really a tribute to Jen and her work. Boy, I've been involved with the Youth Center going back at least, let's see, one, two, three, four, I think four directors. Uh, when I first started covering it for the Milford Town Crier, and then I looked to see what I could help do. Um, and, um, about three or four years ago, I donated some money to help build the um, runway or stage platform that they use in the annual uh, get dressed up, not messed up fashion show that the kids do. Well, I think they, they could just go drop in at any time it's open and see the director, Jen Ward, or the assistant director, Katie Cavell, and ask them what they need uh, or um, talk to members of the youth commission that oversees it. But there's always something um, that they could use uh, that's not necessarily money, but might be time, uh, might be talent. Um, I mean, there's a couple of things people have to offer besides money, and usually it's your time, whatever your particular talent is. They might need it someday. Um, it's hard to explain that other than just stop in and see what their needs are. Uh, maybe on a particular day, they just need somebody to uh, be an extra hand watching people or run an event. Um, you know, and that takes an hour or two. So through the company that I work for, AMP Bellingham, uh, which is owned by Dynagy, which is an energy company, um, through our community relations budget, we've done, um, we make donations to the youth center. Um, we've done some bigger projects there. Uh, we donated a, uh, um, a, a more efficient boiler, um, I think about 10 years ago. And most recently, um, I worked with Consigli Construction and um, uh, a landscaper. We did the uh, landscaping over in front of the, the building because the restoration came out great. It looked good, um, and I went. I was invited to the ribbon cutting ceremony, and I was there. And you know, they, they had really landscaped, and I said, you know, we got to fix this. So, so we did a community project with um, some of my um, staff members from my, my uh, AMP Bellingham, a couple uh, people from Consigli Construction and um, um, Doug Knight, I'm a landscaper in, Ux in Uxbridge, and we, we um, did over the front and, and it came out pretty good. So that was the biggest project that we, we helped them with recently. Well, the memory that I have is my work in the youth center. Mm -hmm. You know, I came there and basically I'm offering tutoring in math, physics, and science. And I had several children coming and asked to be tutored. And the nice memory is that every one of them was very successful after they were tutoring. They got very high grades in school in the, in the subject that they were tutored in. And it seems they enjoyed it. You know, not only that, just coming there because they didn't know, but they, after a while, they were really enjoying coming and learning something, for me at least. You know, I feel very much contributing to the welfare of those students. Seeing children getting a hundred after they've been failing math, you know, it's tremendous reward and tremendous good feeling that I've contributed something to the life of those people. You know, as we say in my culture, they say, you know, saving one life is saving the whole world, you know, and I felt that I've done it more than once 
So it was really great reward. I, I hear we have monthly meetings of our AmeriCorps members so often here. Victoria currently, who, who's serving as an AmeriCorps member, will come and give reports about things like the fashion show and, all, and always glowing reports about you know, how, what a great jo job the teens are doing here. She is someone that came up through you know, and benefited a lot from uh, services of the Youth Center as a teen. And now that she's you know, growing into uh, being a young adult, she's, AmeriCorps gives her a chance to serve her community and sort of give back. And, and I think that's very exciting. So we didn't, I didn't use the term yet specifically, but it's an opportunity for a role model to, uh, you know, for teens to connect with role models. So certainly Victoria is a great example of that. When we started sewing, we started with an easy project of a pillow. And he was able to do it and thought, wow, this is great. Well, he went on to make like nine pillows and couldn't wait for sewing. And one week we had to cancel sewing and it was the end of the world. And he said, if I don't have sewing in my life, <laughs> I am just a very unhappy person the rest of the week. And many of them share that. When uh, they finished the building, they ran out of money, so they didn't quite finish. And there was a hallway floor here that wasn't finished. A couple of the boys helped me refinish it. The hand sanders, then the refinishing, the staining, and putting the finish down. They refinished the doors. We had them up here on saw horses, and they sanded them and put the finish on. I started out the, at the senior center and um, there's a program that is established for seniors where they have throughout the town different opportunities and you sign up for what you'd like to do and I did the senior center for a little while uh, the director there knows Jen here and referred me over and um, this, this worked out very well. I don't hope it doesn't matter, but I can say that the town is good enough. It has a program where seniors can earn um, a tax uh, re uh, abatement if they put in so many hours here. And for me, it's like, why would anybody pay me to do this? It's so much fun. <laughs> It's very important that people support this program moving forward. You know, it's a very cost-effective program. It costs very little to run this facility compared to other places of a similar size and programmatic scope. And that's why people need to understand that it's a great value. They get a great amount of return on their investment, good bang for the buck, and a quality program for kids that need it. And I just think that this community would be a very different place without the Milford Youth Center. So my message to the community is, now's the time to ramp up our support. Now's the time to do more and to keep this program flourishing, not just to survive, but we want the program to thrive in the future.